Tony's Board Life. I am Tony, and today we have an advanced recon, and this is legitimately an advanced recon. I was uh, given a box um, to show off and to play, um, but what I wanted to do today is we have an advanced recon on Point Blank. V is for Victory, Lock and Load Publishing. Uh, thank you to David Heath and to uh, Devin, the old G, OG. He asked me if I wanted to get this, kind of show it off, do some videos, and I said, sure, why not? Um, I've ordered this, um, and this is the box. If you Kickstarter it, this is the box you're going to get. So everything you see in here is what you're going to get. Now, I, I'm very interested in this, and um, as of right now, there's plenty of videos out there. Gimpy Gamers put stuff out there. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and read this. Uh, but needless to say, it is on their website, and I do believe that the pre-orders are still in existence. So, it's uh, going to be interesting uh, to see how this turns out and see what we've got going on here. Um, so, let's it's one to two player. It's got a solitaire module. I, I'm just excited to get this in. So, let's go, let me go ahead, and um, I'll get the uh, shrink wrap ripped off, and then we can see what's inside. Okay, the shrink wrap is now off, so let's go ahead and take a look. Good solid sturdy box. I can tell you this thing is heavy. It is insanely heavy. I could do different things. Okay, so module rules and scenarios 1.1. So I'm assuming that there might be some other modules um, that you're going to get. So there are. Let's take a look here. I'm using a different camera setup, so it's a little different. Um, oh, there's a campaign rule. Uh, let's see here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two. It looks like around twenty-two. Um, there's a campaign. So that's pretty cool. And there's DYO scenarios. So do your own. So that's pretty cool. So, we've got that to start off with. Um, it's, you know, good quality paper. How to set things up. Uh, the terrain, different things like that out there. I'm so excited for this. This is, I am looking forward to this for sure. Definitely looking forward to getting this out. So, plan on something. So, I'm going to get this up and then um, pretty soon I'm going to get this laid out and we're going to do it. Core Rulebook 1.0. I do know that the rulebook is online. I've actually been uh, reading it ahead of time. So this is pretty cool. Very nice uh, color illustrations. For sure. So pretty cool on that one. So, so we've got our rules. The rules do come in at... Well, if we get actually rules and not just the, hmm, it's like 70 pages of rules, it looks like, um, and then some solo rules as well, so yeah, solo rules start at 87, so, you know, it's, it's a thick, but as you can see, the text is good, there's plenty of illustrations, uh, so you got definitely different, quite a bit different things. Now, so we've got here. So we've got our our basically our chart set up. So pretty good in size. Let's see here. Can I? Oh, not that way. Let's see here. <laughs> Sorry. Woo. Okay. So you can see it's quite large. Uh, this is going to be an interesting setup game. Uh, how that works? Well, there's that one. So we've got that one. So I think that's the axis because it's the darker of the two. And then this is actually the um, the allied side. And then you have your middle section. So the allied. So 
pretty nice. Um, it'll be interesting. It's, good. it's it's a pretty good size setup. There. Got to make sure I fold everything back correctly. Okay, so that's good there. Uh, we have a solo flow chart front and back for the solo bot. Um, another one. Okay, so we got continue our solo flow chart. Um, oh, it's a phase. So you have your sequence of game phases of games uh, uh, chart here. Uh, you have your terrain modifiers, objective summaries. Well, that's pretty cool. Bog, a stacking, and button up for the vehicles. And then you have your ordnance ranges, uh, modifiers versus infantry, modifiers versus AVs. So good, good things on that one. Uh, miscell more miscellaneous tables. Line of sight summary. So I'm kind of interested to see how that works out. Um, uh, we had uh, Keith Tracton on the War Room, and he talked about that. Oh, we got plenty of player aids for sure. Plenty of player aids. So we'll see how that goes. More play raids. Sorry about the glare on this. Okay. Oh, they had to put them in. So we have our counters, and they had to put them in a bag because they're just popping right out. That is pretty cool. That's awesome. So nice. Already punched or already rounded, so we're good. Oh, now this is nice. This is nice. You have your. Your cards, your card decks, they have a spot to go into. So, that's nice. That works out real nice. There's a spot to put them. Oh, man, this is nice. I'll be honest with you, that is a nice feature to have to be able to throw your cards. You have your dice here. You have all your cards. I mean, look at the quality of this card here. I mean, this is awesome. M36. Um, oh, here we got our action cards so you're going to look at the two uh, lines up here for the action cards that's the dice uh, for infantry that's pretty cool one of the neat things is we have our terrain deck does it actually say yep oh that's that one so we have our terrain deck let's go ahead and open up let's, let's just open up our this one right here let's take a look at it here and see these cards now the only thing I will say they are a tight fit so I don't know if you'll be actually able to um, uh, sleeve them that's the only thing I'm gonna say about it is they are a tight fit so I don't think it's gonna you're gonna be able to sleeve these cards of course ah, there we go finally Okay, so let's see here. So we have, so these I think are our objectives, crossroads. Let's see, yeah, they are, there are some. Um, we've got these, and then we have our terrain deck here. So we've got our wooden buildings. Woods, wood roads, wrecks, uh, gully, low crops, uh, a cemetery. I mean, look at that. That's just the artwork on this is really, really cool. I really, really enjoy that. The artwork so far. Hedges. Obviously, that's not bocage. We got our wheat fields. So plenty of these things. So, are all the wooden buildings exactly? So, yeah. I'll, so then the woods. I mean, this this definitely has that, that 1940s feel to it. Uh, the artwork and stuff. So that's really, really cool. But like I said, if you're going to sleeve them, this will not hold it. But I'll tell you what. Yeah. We'll have to see how that goes. But it definitely is nice. I don't. The only problem is I don't think you can get down there far enough on that. So yeah, that might be a, that might be a little difficult on that. 
to get all the way down. You can get some cards up, but you can't get them all up. And that's uh, it's a little bummer there. That one. Oh, well. I mean, all in all, not a bad thing. I mean, it's not going to kill or anything like that. Just it's a nice idea for the storage and things like that. So we have plenty of victory cards or um, action cards. That's what these are, the action cards. So we have two decks of those. Um, these are the, these are the support weapons or smoke and things like that. I know there's support weapons in here. Let's bust this one of these open and take a look at it and see how it goes. So, oh, I've got my smoke cards. Okay, well, it's not a big deal because you're not drawing. Or blades on. So we have smoke on one side, blaze on the other. That's pretty cool. And then, okay, so we've got some leaders here. So we have Lieutenant Grimm. We have a flamethrower. Pretty cool. We have Satchel Charge, MG34, MG42, Panzer Faust, Panzer Choppin. Uh, then, so that's the Germans, and then there's, there's another German. Let's get him out of there. And so we've got our Americans. Ah, we got some Brits in here. Lieutenant Hughes. Um, or with some Brins, some Piats. Nice. This is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to playing this. This is going to be a good, good, good time. It will be fun. Oh, we have some free French in there. Mm, some resistance. Resistance. Okay, I just butchered, butchered that, so I do apologize. <laughs> I just really butchered that. I didn't mean to do that. And let's take a look at a couple more unit cards here. So let's take a couple more unit cards here. Let's take a look here and take a look at some of these unit cards. Yeah, that's the only bummer. And it's just getting the cards out. I wish it would have been a little bit easier. Um, but once they once they go through, I'm, I I am a little worried about that part. Honestly, um, it's good to go down, but you can't. Finger only goes down so far, so I might have to see what some modifications are. So let's take a look at uh, some of the unit cards here. Um, so we have some. These are Americans, M4, A3, E3, so we got some tanks, uh, M8, M5s, anti-tank guns, oh, these will be fun, M60 millimeters, mortars, and 50 cal, second line squad, um, half squads, uh, airborne squads, they can do a lot for sure. Um, airborne half squads great artwork on this I will have to say great artwork infantry squads and we got the, some partisans yeah some free French some resistance so we have some partisan this will be interesting I gotta have to look, take a look so artwork is phenomenal on these really really good job on the artwork very very impressed on that and I, you know what? I'm not sure if I'll actually keep this organizer because I'll be honest with you, you can pull off the top ones, but I can't get the bottom ones here. That's the only downside about this thing right now that I see is I can't get, can't get, I can get like part of it, but yeah, I can't even pull these cards up or I can pull a few cards up at a time. Um, so yeah, that's a little annoying. Um, so we'll see how I do. I might figure out a different way to, to set those up. And again, same thing with these. I can't get these all the way, all the way in, all the way down. So great idea. Um, poor, poor impl implementation about that, but, uh, it is not a big deal. It's not a game part of the game or anything like that. It's just, it's an organization that I thought was going to be cool, but unfortunately, you know, I may go through and cut those all the way down so I can get them. We'll see. I may just chuck it out too at the same time. So, you know, we got great counters. Looks beautiful. I don't want to take them out because they're loose. So when we do some gameplay, you'll be able to see them. 
but they just look absolutely gorgeous. And plenty of play raids with that. Got that. Our rule book and our scenarios. So, I mean, lots of good stuff in there, good artwork. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting this out and playing. I didn't want this to be too long of a video, but I did want to show you what you were getting into uh, for everybody that ordered these. Um, really cool, really great box. Uh, good, to, Definitely got some good artwork in there on the cards. The card holders, say if you're going to sleeve them, they're not going to be great. It's not going to be great. They're not going to fit. Um, and right now, there's some issues with that. But again, that's not a big deal. It pro I'll probably end up putting them into something else as well. Some, maybe do some top boxes or something like that to, to separate them, make it a little bit easier. Um, and probably the only cards I'd actually sleeve would be the action cards because you do shuffle those up a lot more. Um, if you're thinking, think of, think of it like the action cards in like Fields of Fire, where you're drawing the cards for the things all the time, you shuffle them all the time. So that's why I would say probably just leaving the action cards is, um, probably the one I'd go with. But great box, great stuff inside of there. Looks like a great game. I've been reading the rules on it. Uh, so definitely expect a video from me soon, uh, with some gameplay on it. I'll have to clear out a table. It looks like it's pretty it's a pretty good size map so we'll see we'll, we'll see how it goes out there so with that uh any questions or comments please let me know this is still on pre-order as far as i remember um and if you're catching this after all the pre-orders and you want to order it go to lock and load publishing um i will put a link uh to um actually the uh, page on this for you guys if you do choose to order with that everybody have a great day and i will see you guys later bye